is real. We've, we're pilgrims just passing through this world. If we really believe that, it should and will change what matters to us and how we live. When we embrace the reality of the world to come, it radically impacts how we view this world. 2 Corinthians 4.17, Paul said, For our present troubles are small and won't last very long. Yet they produce for us a glory that vastly outweighs them and will last forever. So, we don't look at the troubles we can see. Rather, we fix our gaze on things that cannot be seen. For the things we see now will soon be gone. But the things we, can, we cannot will last forever. For we know that when this earthly tent we live in is taken down, that is... When we die and leave this earthly body, we will have a house in heaven, an eternal body made for us by God himself and not by human hands. I don't know about you, but I long to see that city. I trust that I'm holding on to the things of this world so loosely that I can let them go at a moment's notice. Because in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, we're going to be changed. And we're going to experience that wonderful place called heaven. I don't want to be attached to this world with the things that I have accumulated. And I've accumulated several just like you have. Let's be honest with ourselves this morning. We all accumulate things. Don't hold on to them. They're temporal. The things in heaven is what's going to last. In generations past, one of my favorite topics for the Christian songs was heaven. For many Christians down through the century, this life has been hard. <coughs> and I'm speaking to some people this morning that life has been hard for you. And life is going to even get harder for some of us if we live long enough. Because when we look at the world, we're living in a world, friends, that we cannot cloud it over. We're living in troubled times, and we know it. There are people that have been destitute and prosecuted or persecuted. What gave them hope was knowing that someday they would be with their Heavenly Father. The truth is that life can be hard. When you're in that health crisis, or you're going through that divorce, or God's uh, it seems to be taking you through a sifting process. God's encouragement to us is to remember that we're not home yet. But there is a place called heaven. I used to hear this song when I was just a boy growing up. Matter of fact, Rich and Ruby used to sing it up on the hill. And uh, I've asked uh, Charles and them to sing it for us this morning. And we're to remind him that, be reminded that Heaven is a place. It's a childhood I've heard of heaven. And wondered if it could be true. If there were, if there were, streets of gold. If there were, walls of jasper. If there was a place where I could go and there'd be no more tears, and no more crying, and no more dying. I wondered about that as a child. I want to tell you this morning, it is real. Listen as they say in childhood I
The only way that you can be prepared for eternity is to give your life to Jesus and say yes to Him. I'm going to ask you to stand this time.